All right, everybody, welcome back to Toys Equals Midlife Crisis Squared. And here we have a review that, uh, weirdly, I've not seen anyone else online have. I'm pretty sure everybody gave up on this particular pre-order because, quite frankly, I don't blame them. I pre-ordered this, what, almost two years ago? <laughs> it's ridiculous that it just now comes out after months and months, almost half a year of delays or more to uh, release this particular figure. And, you know, Big Bad Toy Store gave me the um, the notification that, yes, we're, we're finally shipping this thing to you. And usually by the time they're shipping me anything new that has just come out, it's usually been out for a couple of weeks. So I was really kind of amazed that there weren't more reviews of this particular figure uh, I mean, I know the reviews of the other figures that had come out, so why not this one? So, not that I'm clout chasing or anything like that, but I figured, you know, hey, uh, we'll take a bit of a G.I. Joe classified break and show you this Silverhawk Steelheart from Super 7. Yeah, sure, it's so super. We know why it's called Super 7, because they're all 7-inch figures. But anyway, uh, just real quick, let's... Um, Let's get it out of this bizarre cardboard shell, shall we? And here it is, nice and shiny, shiny out of the box. Uh, one cool thing is, is that, um, you know, it appears, uh, this is something that G.I. Joe Classified should probably kind of sort of take into consideration about their windowless packaging or whatever, is that this is technically windowless until it's not windowless, <laughs> right? So that's, that's, that's kind of cool, right? Uh-oh. Uh, anyway, so taking a, a zoom in, a little peeky-deeky here. Um, I, I was a little worried about the face paint app before I even opened it because I was like, man, based on some of the weird issues and errors I'd seen way early on with some of the tests and stuff like that, I was really worried this was going to suck anus. But as it turns out, it's not too terribly bad, so why don't we just free her from this and we'll just have ourselves a look see. It's Silver Hex! Alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, owing to a technical error, I lost uh, an entire segment uh, of video where we discuss her lack of articulation. And it's too important not to bring back into the fold. So, um... So with her head, she can't move up too much, right? There's not much uh, upward movement to her head. Um, and she has only single jointed elbows, so she can only go to there. But she does have bicep swivel, uh, which other Super 7s didn't seem to have. <laughs> They've given her this torso joint, but it's only good for turning. It does not move up or down at all. And her torso is just solid, so she can't bend over. And uh, her legs, you can only go to there. That's it. That's as far as she can bend down. She cannot bend down. And she can't push it too far back either because of her bulbous ass. Um... And she cannot do the splits at all, right? That that's that's all she wrote. She can't do half a dozen things, and her knee only goes to there, uh, single joint knee. But so even with all that, they gave her like you know a reasonable rocker and, and good good articulation in the foot. But what good is that if you can't even do anything with the hands or feet? So that was it. For articulation. I'm just an articulated mess. <laughs> well, uh, we had a technical difficulty. I don't know whether the battery went dead or the camera overheated or both, but uh, we were at one point looking at this uh, angry head. So I have another look at the angry head that failed to register. Do, 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 do. Gonna start playing the sad music. Come on, this is mental deficiency. There you go. Angry face. Uh, 
Now, the other accessories are as follows. Um, you get three sets of hands, both uh, metal and non-metal, because left and right, obviously. But you get uh, flat hands for when you want to super fly or choppy chop. You get fisticuffs for when, you know, you got to bash people in the fucking face. Come on. Hmm. Yeah. Skadoosh. Uh, and then you get one where it can, like, hold something. Or, you know, use your imagination-y. <laughs> uh, very particular <laughs> hand sculpt there. Because, uh, like, what, what could she be holding? Uh, I don't know. It's not a trigger finger. So uh, there's no split. You can't, you can't move that hand or that finger to hold on to a trigger or anything. So I don't know really what she's supposed to hold. Uh, you get blast hits. I guess you could call them, or snowflakes. I, I don't know. Um, not bad, I guess, if that's kind of the thing. And then you get, like, a lightsaber. <laughs> uh, I know, it's supposed to be blasts from the shoulder cannon. Uh, very interesting, I suppose. Um, you could put the blast effect at the end. Now, she comes with a separate, different pair of arms, okay? This is where the question comes in. You see that little hole, that triangular hole there? That's where the shoulder cannon is, and that's where the blasts come from, right? But you might also notice no such holes are on the main figure, okay? So the question I have is, can you remove this shoulder socket if you don't want the wings, right? So let's just say, because it's not attached to the wings, so that tells me that you should be able to, yeah, okay, you can. So you could pop the shoulder out. So you know, hey, at least there's that, right? You could switch out the shoulders. And, uh, you know, you could have her standing there shooting lasers and doesn't have to be flying shooting lasers. So I do dig that. Yay, something positive. Oh my God. Anyway, um, it's not a whole lot to work with. I. I Again, that lack of uh, the lack of articulation is a pain in the butt. I, I really do not understand why they chose to go with that. I mean, I get that it's uh, you know you're sticking with the style and uh, of the other bucks to make them all fit, but I mean, with today's advances in articulation, why? Oh well, I'm sure it'll look pretty on the shelf, but gee, many Christmas not going to be able to do much in terms of photography. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, let's do comparisons. All right, so here we have a comparison with X-Ray's uh, Gladiator series and the other Super 7, the only other Super 7 figure I have, which is Chitara. Um, obviously, with Chitara, she matches perfectly. I mean, of course, right? And with x-rays, it's not too bad or out of the realm of, uh, I mean, they still got them wide ass birth and hips over there, but you know, that's cool with me. I like that. But donk donk all the way, but, uh, overall build and height, it, uh, it's fine. Even though x-rays is a little taller, but you know, you kind of sort of expect that being that these are Amazonian type badasses ready to defeat folk in, uh, in the ring. Now, <laughs> The thing that I find weird is that, like with Chitara, it has the same sort of arm articulation, I guess, except that she can't uh, bicep swivel. So we know that Super 7 can indeed update some measure of the articulation, right? And they kind of went into the reverse, whereas she has these knee pads. The reverse is that the knees on Chitara overlay instead of underlay. But uh, check this. So Chitara can do almost a splits. So it's almost like they went backwards while going forwards in articulation. They ended up going backwards in articulation and in the areas that I think matter the most. Um, I, I do like that Steelheart's a bit more feminine in terms of uh, hourglass shape than Chitara, but uh, again, it's quite the comparison. It's bizarre. It's totally bizarre. Super 7, what up? I mean, uh, 
this is why I'm not buying the Ultimates G.I. Joe, despite them looking absolutely beautiful in terms of them being uh, anime accurate. But it's the art lack of articulation. And uh, just, oi, 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 oi. All right, so here's two other different toy lines in comparison to Super 7. You have Nika, and then you have, I want to say Storm Collectibles. Is that what it is? I can't remember anymore. I want to say it is Tarna. And, um, oh, God. Not Rachel. Is that, is it Rachel is her name? I can't, no. Um, oh, my God. I know. Well, you know what? Whatevs. I'm going to put her name right there because I know by the time uh, this is all said and done, I'll put it there. Renee. Thank you. Jeepers. Jeepers. Yes, and I hate the fact that I ended up getting the brown version instead of the blue version. That was exceedingly disappointing, but hey, at least I got it. Whoop-de-doo. Uh, but hey, that's we're not here to argue that. In terms of comparison, if Nika is supposed to be 7 inches, so she's shorter, it seems to me, than Steelheart, but proportionally, it's not that different or off. You know, people are in fact shorter than other people <laughs> in real life. So this really, uh, this really matches up well, to be honest, including the, the kind of sort of paint apps that, um, that they use here, this kind of like really, really thick paints and kind of overly simplified paint apps that are not photo real. Uh, I think it matches up perfectly in terms of the storm collectible Tarna here. She's obviously oversized for, um, seven inch, but again, same thing with the x-rays. When you've got someone who's an Amazonian badass, they might very well be a little taller. And in this case, a lot more bustier and a hell of a lot more articulated than this. I mean, even <laughs> NECA is more articulated than Super 7. What gives? All right, I'm going to compare G.I. Joe Classified and Marvel Legends to Steelheart. Um, yeah, Marvel Legends... Comes close-ish, but still at a six-inch line, is still small enough to where it doesn't match up all that well. Uh, I, it, and at least, you know, because Dark Phoenix here is on the tall side of the females as far as an average is concerned. And I would say the same for CoverGirl in Classified. <clears throat> they don't match up well. So six-inch lines are not going to match up well for Super 7 seven-inch lines. Oopsie poopsie, animal goopsie. All right, so this concludes my review of Super 7's uh, Silverhawks Steelheart. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, this looks totally bizarre and wrong, but I mean, uh, yeah, why not, right? But I do, I do want to point out this one really stupid thing. So it's very, very easy to pop this stuff off and put it on, right? There's none of this. You don't have to heat it up. You don't have to you know, do off-camera strength. Uh, but I want to point this out because this is ultimately uh, insanity. So remember when I said there was no head movement whatsoever uh, from this? <laughs> the metal version, well, which comes off really quick. Yeah, there's the dumbbell, by the way, that uh, clearly restricted on movement. Uh, but at least the metal, the metal head has far more range of of movement than the um, non-metal head. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> right, so again, that's all she wrote for Steelheart here. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be on with the limited photos that I can take, <laughs> which, you know, I'll do the best I can with what I've been given. Thanks, Super Seven, for giving me an almost barely articulate figure that I spent way too much money for and almost wasted two years of my damn life waiting for. So, can I recommend it? Nah. <laughs> I really hate the fact that, oh no, someone is calling to interrupt my video. <gasps> oh, goody! On with the photos.
pew 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 pew